legislators have been arguing over how to redraw the district lines. Critics say the current legislative maps favor Republicans over Democrats in many areas of the state. And today, attorneys for both parties argued before the North Carolina Supreme Court. It's an issue that affects how everyone in the state will be represented in Washington. News Channel 12, Shantia Hudson joins us now live. Shantia, what exactly is the court being asked to decide? The main question is whether it's the state Supreme Court's place to redraw the maps. Attorneys on both sides made their case for 90 minutes. On one side, attorneys argued that every voter should have an equal opportunity. They questioned whether the district maps as drawn are fair. Stanton Jones argued that right now the new lines manipulate boundaries to favor Republicans who have control of the state legislature. In a partisan gerrymander, the leaders already in power manipulate the district lines to subvert the will of the people. Those on the other side of the argument say this is not a legal issue at all, but instead a political process. Our argument is, is that respectfully that would be the court legislating, that would not be the court engaging in a judicial determination. Justice Anita Earls challenged the argument that this wasn't a legal matter. Why shouldn't our state constitution equal protection clause also protect people from discrimination um, on the intentional discrimination on the basis of party affiliation? After today's arguments, the justices will consider their ruling. It's unclear when we will know their decision. For News Channel 12, I'm Shantia Hudson. In Jacksonville tonight,